Hey everyone, so let's get started. I wanted to kind of explain what I'm going to do compositionally for this. So I have been asked a few times about, hey, how do you do this like very subtle, gradual effect of color to a dark concentration of color? So we're gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a concentration of color down here, have it fade subtly up to maybe one or two corners, possibly just one in a direction. And then down here, we're gonna keep that dark blue color and I'm gonna probably incorporate some gold and then play with some effects that I typically do. So what I'll be using, my supplies will be 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol. I'll use a thin brush here for the effects and I'm using pinata sapphire blue along with uh, pinata brass, which is the closest thing I could find to gold. And I'll have a Baby Bliss um, Pro TT Small Little Travel Hair Dryer. The only disadvantage to this is that it's only hot, so it'll dry pretty quickly. And the other in indication for this, is, but it blows low air. The other thing I'll use is a Giotto um, little air rocket, and I'll have all the links to the stuff down below in my description. Uh, so let's get started. I haven't painted in a while, and I've been busy doing family work, and I've been doing, uh, working on a table, so it's been really exciting. A little different, you know, taking my creativity to another, in a different channel, so different avenue. But um, here, let's get started. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it up a little, and I'm gonna use cobalt instead of the sapphire blue that I did for the test. And we're going to use brass. All right. All right, so here we go. Here is the, we're using pinata brass, which is the closest I could find to gold. And I'm using cobalt instead of the sapphire blue that I mentioned earlier. Okay, you gotta mix it really well. You should mix both of them, honestly, because there is, some dye that sits at the bottom. You want to get make sure you get all of it out. All right. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do with this method is I'm going to do the method of how I started when I flooded the canvas with the paper. So we're going to flood it with ink. I'm sorry, with alcohol, and. I'm gonna move this alcohol way around to make sure it's all wet, all over. There we go. And we're gonna do a pretty shape, like so. I want heavy saturation of color on the bottom, like I mentioned. And push it to the edge. I typically try not to move the ink like that. I typically like to use a blow dryer. So we're gonna do that now without lifting. That's too much air.
this area dried up faster. So we're gonna do the same thing, adding more alcohol to this corner. And just letting it soak. So again, make sure you have the practice mindset. And I'm not sure if this is gonna come out. So that's why, you know, I'm not worried about, even if I'm recording this video, I'm gonna share this with you. So it doesn't matter if it comes out correctly or not for me, because I'll correct it. I can correct it, because I'm not um, ashamed or worried about messing up. You're probably thinking, well, this just looks like a blob of color that you're just putting over and moving it around. But it's not over. So this is just the base layer. All right. So this is just the base layer. Now, this is Yupo paper. So you can see how there is a little bit of staining right here, but it's okay because we're gonna, this is the softest area. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to add some alcohol right here on the edge. And we're gonna try to see if we can push it back. And you move it around, you can push it back and around. Now, if I add another streak of alcohol here, it will leave a line right here. So watch. So if I add some alcohol right here, and you'll see where it'll be like two opposing lines next to each other right here. Now there is moisture in the air here, so because it's threatening to rain, so that's why you start seeing these weird lines, but it's quite all right. So 
So again, I'm just moving it back and forth. Now you notice now these colors are starting to come in. I don't want that, so I'm gonna push it back. And we're just gonna let it go all the way down to the edge. Okay, now we're gonna put some alcohol here. Do the same thing. Bring it back again. Get this gradual, beautiful color here and how it's softening up. I'm not worried about the staining because I'll use the staining to my advantage. All right. So then up here, you know, I don't like this area. So what we're going to do is, again, add a couple drops and grab this corner. Again, on canvas and bigger sheets, you're not going to be able to do this. You're going to have to change your style and use blow dryer to do this. But since um, this is a pretty small piece of paper for me. I'm going to show you how I could do it. We could do it with moving it with your hand. You could probably move it with canvas too, but um, you can use, if you're wearing gloves, you can use your finger to kind of help guide some of the stain off. There we go. So we're gonna let this dry. And let's see, I'm not really fond of this right here, this area, but it's okay. We'll just have to play with it more. See how it's creating a wave line. Now, if I want to connect this to here, I can. It will start moving the ink accordingly. doing a shape I like you know also letting the alcohol it's got a nature of its own so playing with it and figuring out how it moves and stains is the whole point of of playing with alcohol ink so let's say uh, I leave that and let it dry and I'll come back We're gonna let it dry here. Um, I do notice that there's some that's creeping up to the top here. I don't want that, so we're gonna push it back. Now again, you could use the blow dryer to speed up this process, and we can, so let's try. I can see it drying quickly. this kind of guide this off I'm just moving the ink all in one spot all to one spot
Now, if my table's not balanced, or my surface that this is on is not balanced, then it will try to tend to move to one location over the other. The other thing that you want to look at is the paper. If the paper is curled at all, you're going to have this issue where you're going to you're going to have to push it around more than you're just going to have to try to control where you want the ink to go because it's just going to go where it wants. Gravity will take it. So, Push it all off because I don't need this much on the base layer. All right, so since this is a demonstration, I'm going to show you how I'm going to attack this now. So I've got all this soft stuff happening and it's all down here. Now I could have controlled it and had it here and then push everything back up to the center. But I want to show you just how wisping, you know, how we can achieve this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually physically going to put drops down. And this is where I want kind of some of my, my concentration of color. And I'm also going to drop a couple drops of this pinata brass. But what's going to happen is I'm going to mix the pinata brass and move it around with um, the... The, basically the blow dryer and my brush. Now it's going to spread in a weird way, um, but that's okay. We're gonna we're not going to add a lot of alcohol, just a couple drops. Going to let it soak here. So add a couple more actually. So I don't have the smaller container. I should put some alcohol in a little needle nose container, but since for demo purposes, I think this is fine. And I'm gonna add a little bit more gold. some of that blue and you should have a little cup with alcohol just pure alcohol in it and we use our brush to dab it so we can start moving this ink up the the glitter from the gold off the canvas Right now, all I'm trying to achieve is making these fine lines of gold. The more gold you add, the better it is. You can even fade the gold too if you want by doing that. You see how I'm kind of fading it right there and then having it in areas of concentration and other parts. Okay. 
Okay. You're kind of probably wondering, well, that doesn't look that good, right? So it's okay. So what we're gonna do is add a little bit more alcohol with the brush. And this is where we start moving it around. And I'm using the gradual, the effects of my brush and the air drop some drops here to help help move the ink so it's not so st stuck on the paper Helping it, guiding it, and moving it. All right, let's do this. Let me add some alcohol on top and use my blow dryer to spread it faster. Adding a little bit more gold. using the brush to pick it up. Dip my brush in the cup of alcohol that I have. And so now I'm starting to define the shape and it may not look like I am, but all I'm doing is I'm using these lines that go across and I'm just creating my own based on that. So I'm seeing some beautiful lines and you'll start seeing, oops, you'll start seeing Clean my brush and come back again.
I'm gonna leave some areas of concentration. You notice my blow dryer is way out here because I don't want a lot of air. But I want enough um, to help it move. Yeah, as you can see here, just takes practice. And practice doesn't make perfect. It just makes you better. Basically better than you were yesterday. Now, if I wanted to add, so this gold right now is very surface, like it's, it's ingrained into the, the paper. If I want that top kind of gold, what I can do is I can just dip a fresh brush in there and draw my lines of gold in there the way I like. But right now, I'm not worried about that. I'm just trying to get my shape together. Make sure you don't forget or neglect a certain area. You wanna just keep playing with all the areas to try to get, look at it as a whole versus like just looking at just one area. Well, since this is hot, it's uh, it's drying much faster, so it's given me the ability to move it. So now I'm just collecting, connecting all the lines together that I see, that I like.
so this was just two colors well the blue and the accent now you notice like oh no we got a blue stain here not a problem you can always just drop some alcohol on it let it sink in um and this paper you both tends to stain a little bit so you can see how like that's kind of stained but it's all right we can you know this is again for sample purpose so you can kind of see you got the shimmers of gold in here i don't know if you can kind of see and you know good first uh sample piece so the other thing you can do if you don't like certain areas just go over it see you just basically rewrite it um if i want to soften those lines because i don't like it there you go just let it sit and you know don't be afraid to mess anything up and play with it um not worried about it here we'll just move it around a little bit more you can start over so you can say oh you know what I didn't like that line dip your alcohol and just start creating new lines it's not that difficult as you can see but compositionally I feel like that's too too far into the corner bring it out Add some more of this beautiful color here. can't be afraid to mess anything up you just gotta play and practice mindset as I mentioned let's see if we can get something else out of this one since the ink is already there So now I've got another piece, a different piece, and we can just, let's add a little bit of alcohol in my little cup, and now you can play with this one. So you can see how you can start generating more connections and more lines out. And this may turn out better than the last one that I had. So again, it's just about practicing and trying different things and learning from your mistakes. Well, I can't even say they're mistakes. They're, they're not mistakes if you're practicing, right? <laughs> so now you have a very even spread of this blue. And all I'm doing is making some small little fractal 
or fractals as I call them because they look like just cracks in the ink. And I'm giving it a direction. A little bit of a concentration of color. Doesn't hurt anybody. You know, I don't like these these interesting uh, bubbles because it just looks like I left it there, but which I did, but I want to add as much little directional lines. And I'm just dipping my brush lifting the gold back up pushing it through There you go, so there's another piece. So you could just keep playing and figuring it out as you learn. And as long as you have that mindset, that's all that matters, the practice mindset. When your brush starts drying out, you can use a dry brush technique, which I can show you in a minute. So my brush is pretty soaked right now, but if I wanna add like just, it's dry so I have it's just dry brush, so it slightly has a little bit of alcohol, and if I wanna collect or connect some of these lines, and I can without it really ruining it or moving too much, see? And so now these corners, I'm gonna move the ink around. I'll bring it to the corner, I guess. So there you have it. Um, just wanted to show you how you can change one thing to another thing. Um, and again, this is practice. So you've got the soft effect moving down and you feathered it, I feathered it here. So it goes from white to like a very light blue to a dark blue. And then we have some gold. Now, if I wanted to brush some gold in, I can. What you do is you basically can pour the ink You could pour your gold inside of one of these little mixing cups and you can dry brush on. You can just use a different brush to draw the lines that you like. Sorry, I walked away. So you could draw the lines that you like. So as you can see here, I've got some mixed in here and I'll do, I'll just, you know, just slightly if I want, I can just pour it in. Here you are. And then we'll move it so you can get that top effect. And if you have blending solution, you can use it blending solution and that helps. But um, if you have a dry brush, you can dry brush, or I'm sorry, if you have a regular brush, I need to mix this, that's why it's doing that. So make sure you always mix your your the brass colors or the, the gold colors 
metallic colors first before you pour it because you'll just get a layer of synthetic bro synthetic uh, blending solution. So now you've got, I've got the pigment in there. As you can see, let's see if I can dry brush it on. So we could just There we go. Now it is a little thicker. So there we go. You can just Oops, there goes my, yeah, let's do this. And continue just to move it and push it out to the edges that you want. But I must warn you that the, the effects that you have will go away, so you have to redraw those lines if you need to. But, so, that was just a rough example. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can see my latest videos as I post them. Thank you again, um, and enjoy.